So as final task in this booklet, we're going to look at creating. Now, creating is a good way of drawing up objects to make them look 3D. Um, it's a rough drawing technique, really, so they, these things don't have to be exact. You could use isometric paper to make them exact, but from the point of view of doing creating, what we're simply looking at is building up shapes. So you've got instructions down the side here of how you go about doing a pencil sharpener. So if I make sure I'm drawing up the shapes, roughly the correct orientation to use our X, Y, and Z axes. If you do want to slide some isometric paper underneath, just give yourself a rough shape. That's fine. That'll work all right. So I'm just roughly laying up, making sure all the lines are parallel. Again, you'll see I'm using a bit of a sketching technique. I'm not worried about pressing on too hard. Just roughly lining things up. So this line, this line, this line are all parallel. This line, this line, this line are all parallel. And your vertical lines are, again, all parallel. From there, we're just going to roughly divide it up. So I'm going to come back halfway down this line here halfway down this line here and that's going to give us the angled section across the top there. So I'm just going to draw in the angle again at the back draw in the angle and then sketch across the front there. So that's starting to give us the shape. Next thing to do is we've got this section at the front here where we've got the inset so again, I'm going to look at this overall shape for length and I'm going to roughly divide it up. So I'm going to come to about there, further away down, and just bring across a couple of lines. From there, bring those lines down the side as verticals. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to put a curve in there. Curve will copy down to the bottom. And then I want to do the inverse of the curve at the other side. So you'll just have to play around with this until you get it looking something like right. I can add some vertical lines if I want a little bit later on, but I'll leave that until I've removed some of the box. So from there, I can then start to remove this box just to take a bit of detail out from the construction lines. Everything can be faint at this stage. We can go over it with a fine light, a final line later. But this stage is all about sketching. So that's starting to give us a shape. There's one line there for the pencil sharpener. From there, next thing to consider doing, we can take out those lines there. They're not going to be required anymore either. We can start to look at putting the blade in. And again, we're just matching to get these parallel. So those lines will match up parallel. New line here is going to be slightly offset will match up. Then we're going to pop a bit of a curve on the top. We can also pop down the front down here where we would have the hole at the end of the blade. And stick the edge of the blade on. We'll come back to this a little bit later on. I'm just needing it with a fine liner. For the moment, we're just roughly laying things out how where they, and where they go. So, next thing to think about doing on here is going to be popping on screw screw on there and then if you want to put an internal section running around the edge of it you can do and it's basically just tracking the profile running around the edge of it So that's giving us a start point there. I'm neating that up a little bit around there. Now, from here, 
account and start to look at adding in your additional lines around here for your grips. Then from there, the next step is going to be going over and fine lining the whole item. So I'm just going to pause it now. Then I'll go around with a fine liner and show you what the final result looks like. So once you've gone over it with a fine liner, you can see you're starting to get the build-up of the shape. And then from there, you can add a bit of colour. Now I've done this quite quickly, but it will work for basically any shape you want creating as a technique. So if I was looking at something like, for instance, this roll of sellotape drawing that, again, you can just build it with working around in shapes. And if you want to have a go at this, once you've done the pencil sharpener, you've got a bit of spare time just picking some random objects. It's all about just getting the correct proportions set up. So if I was doing something like the sellotape, where we know reasonable area and size, again, it's just about sketching things around. Laying them up, matching things between the curves, and using the edges of the shape in order to give you rough sizes. So, again, I would probably match that, so it might be a little bit deeper. But it's not an exact technique, but it's quite a good technique for building up shapes. So, I'll include a solution with this one as well, the final outcome potentially, although there is quite a good example of the solution down there already done for you and the stages running down the side. Right, good luck.